Hey! So, you know how sometimes you're on your base roof and you just need to get to ground level immediately? So how about this? Ah? Uh -huh. Ah? <laughs> See, Tesla coils slow you down, so it occurred to me that... Uh, it did, and it worked! Okay, the setup is pretty simple. Assuming a standard height base, meaning your roof is about 5 to 7 floors high, something like that, you want a Tesla coil about 1.5 walls height above ground level, and a laser detector about 1 walls height above that. You can have a button for it if you want, or a more complicated uh, only TC owner can use type circuit using a smart switch. You do you. Oh, and if you jump exactly right, you take no damage whatsoever. So how, how about, about that? that? Now, if your jump's much higher, inertia comes into play, I think, and these placements need to be adjusted a bit for it to work. Now, with everything set up, can you still uh, f*** up the jump and miss the Tesla completely? Well, let me assure you that you certainly cannot. Those other noobs? Sure, I mean, there's levels to this game. But you'll be fine, I guarantee. So yeah, it might actually be really useful sometimes. For example, in some raid defense situations, allowing you to seal your compound very quickly. Or it might just be for fun, you know? So, so have fun. Not everything has to be the most serious, like, the, the, the killer app. And yeah, you could just twig yourself down. But if you can twig down, maybe grubs can also twig up. So I usually prefer blocking the building sockets with placeables. And yeah, you could place siren lights in strategic positions, which I do sometimes. Uh, but come on, I mean, if you had to choose and you're not a soulless husk, we, we both know. I mean, seriously. So, fun little trick this. I hope it will inspire you to push the Tesla slowdown effect usage envelope forward in creative ways. Oh, and check out my base build videos. They're subjectively the best bases in Rust. Trust me on that. Much love. She lights out.